What's up, family? Hey, we back in the building. Nice to see y'all. Want to welcome y'all to the uh, how we met Moot Bang, Moot Bone. What's the, what's the correct what's the correct pronunciation? We e we e mm -hmm. Moot Bang, Moot Bone, yeah. Moot Moot Bone, Moot Moot Bang. Whatever it is, I don't know. we doing it tonight. Seafood edition. How we met. Me and the wife gonna talk a little bit, and y'all gonna watch us eat. And uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves. First of all, what we got, honey? Snow crab legs. Uh, mussels. We're going to try these for no, the first time. No, 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 no. You're going to try mussels. I'm not trying mussels. Corn. Uh, shrimp. That's it. We got our bee love sauce on deck. Oh, yeah. So the hub is going to try that out. The bee love sauce. And I got me some sour cream to dip my potatoes in. Sour cream? That's what the bee love sauce for. Come on, let's say grace. Come on, because I'm on. <laughs> All right, Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We ask you to bless it and let it nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's eat. Let's eat. Come on, let's try these muscles first. No, 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 no. You can try the muscles. I'm not eating no muscles. Mm, not on my way. I always try new stuff, family, but not this time. Not that doing sauce. the muscles. Try that sauce and see how it tastes. I am. I am. It's not bad, just them. It's that texture. It ain't bad, though. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Eat all it's of them. It's all right. I'm going to move them to the side right now. I'm going to eat the other stuff. I don't know how it tastes. Oh, it's I got all pretty potatoes. good. You like it? Mm -hmm. You flick oh you just flick some on your shirt. Mm. Oh I'm about to lose it, fam. Mm. But uh it's good. You like it? Oh yeah. It's pretty it's good. It's a little messy now. You gotta get your hands dirty. Pretty good. Okay. That sweetness. I don't have as much spice. You can taste a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. I know how you um uh, That's good, fam. That is good. And if y'all hear some little voices, we got kids on the other side. So Please excuse them if y'all him. Okay, so you ready to get into this uh, video? I mean, into this how we met? Yeah, let's get into it. Uh oh, hold on, I forgot my cocktail sauce. You got you got a mess over there. You supposed to be messing with the sauce. Be little, she be eating. She have just. Oh, I'm not gonna have it all <laughs> on my face, all on my forehead, all in my hair, and all that stuff. Alright, come on. How we met? How did we meet? Really? See if you can tell me. I don't know. Women always know. Y'all men don't know. Well, I think you're trying to ask me so you so you can get the answer. Well, we've been knowing each other for a very long time. But we were actually high school sweethearts. <coughs> and how you gonna eat in between talking? It's a move bang video. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can talk, you go and uh, uh, I got to eat. This stuff good. Anyway, we met in high school, y'all. And uh high school sweetheart. But to go from the beginning, for our first date uh, as you can say, was the date was we went to the military ball, which was in high school together. Am I right? Correct. But before the military ball, y'all, I went to a ball a couple years before that, and she had a little boyfriend, and she was jacking your boy. You feel me? 
Am I right or am I wrong? Well, I guess from your version, you're right. Well, well, what's the truth then? Well, go ahead. She was jacking the boy then. That was back in 19th grade. And I was, went to the bar with somebody else at the time. And uh, she was all on your boy, supposed to be with her date. But she wanted to know what's going on with me where I'm at. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it went. But uh, that's when I knew that she had interest in me and when she was really liking me. So, I want to hear your side. Yeah, that's what happened. That's it? Well, see, let me tell y'all. We were friends at that point because we knew each other in middle school, but I really didn't like them that much like that in middle school. So, we got to high school. We started, we became friends. Was it 10th, ninth grade? Mm -hmm. Might be like the end of ninth grade, yeah. Mm -hmm. And... So, you know, we was cool, so I used to always talk about his little girlfriend, finding something wrong with him. So, going into 10th grade, yeah, that's when I kind of, you know, because we was spending a lot of time together, friends, you know, talking on the phone, it wasn't that more than that. So, um, he went to a ball, and I had my date. So, I seen him leaving early. I'm like, well, where is he going? And then I think I called you the next day like, where you with? Uh, she swore all up and down that I went somewhere. Not knowing, her not knowing, that I had a curfew. <laughs> and I had to be home. Her not knowing that. But, she, where you at? Where you went? I went home. Y'all, all I seen him going at the door with old girl. And wondering, you know. But, you know, we wasn't dating and then. It's just at that point I started liking him. Because, you know, we were friends. We were talking. She was feeling your boy what it was. Oh, Lord. She was feeling your boy. That what it was. You tell the people. You can tell the people. Anyway. So, look at you. <laughs> look like he didn't been over the stove fixing something. <laughs> okay, so we gotta move on. So, well, let me tell y'all what happened. So, we end up going to the ball together. Cause I don't know how do we end up going. You didn't have anybody. I didn't have anybody. We just end up going to the ball together. Mm -hmm. Is that how we just kind of? Right. So. At that time, I was living um, with my grandmother, and she was sick. She had cancer. And so, when we got home from the ball, she had passed away, and that kind of just changed everything, yeah. didn't it, from that point? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a uh, pretty dramatic and, i say, emotional event, because... When we went to the ball, which that was a, a JROTC ball, that's what kind of ball it was. But uh, when we came back home, when I was bringing her back to her home, and that's when her mother met us at the door and told her that her grandmother had passed. And her and her grandmother was real tight. That was like another mother to my wife. And, uh, that was a pretty, pretty emotional moment. That it, it took a lot out of the wife. Right? Yeah, it was. I think when we was at the ball, I actually had tried to call her or thought about her or something like that. Mm -hmm. And at that time, you know, it wasn't cell phones, one like that. You know, we uh, it was a pay phone then. I think some it wasn't working or something. Anyway, yeah, that was. I knew something was wrong when we pulled in because it was caused there. And it shouldn't have been caused there. You know, not that time of night. Right. Not 12 o'clock or whatever time we end up getting there. So, right. that kind of changed, you know, we were liking each other or whatever, but that kind of changed the whole 
you know, situation because he ended up staying with me all the way, sitting on the sofa with me all the way to like what two or three o'clock that morning. That I morning. got in all kind of trouble. You hear me? All kind of trouble with my mama. But after I explained to her what happened, she understood, but she was still upset because I didn't come home on time, which after me telling her what was going on and what happened, she let me out the hook a little bit. But go ahead, babe. I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, mm -mm. So I think that kind of changed, you know, our relationship right there. Him, you know, kind of, because that's like a, that's like a responsible thing. You know, you was a teenager. Mm -hmm. You could have been like, well, you know, whatever. And I think that kind of changed because, you know, you stayed with me. I'm talking about throughout the whole week, funeral, wait, all of that stuff. He was right there. Um, He was right there with me, so. Because I'm smooth like that, y'all. But, yeah. And so I knew, I knew then I was like, I mean, I knew anyway because we was friends. Right. That you was a good guy, but you know, I knew then that, okay, you know what, this dude, he a good dude or whatever, so. And I used to date people that was older. You know, I ain't never really date high school guys because I thought they was immature, so. Pretty most are. But then when I met Demetrius, he was a little different. You know, I mean, he was a typical teenager, but he was more mature. So, so yeah. I think that when you saw like me, I mean, when did it change from like friend type of? I liked the kid in the ninth grade, but you, she wasn't feeling the boy like I was feeling her. Although, I liked her in the ninth grade, but she had a boyfriend. She kept me in the friend zone. Oh, really? Yeah, she had me in the friend zone. So, I played the friend zone part until she started feeling me. And we was off to the races from now. Oh, well, that was ninth grade, 10th grade, and I say 11th grade when we really, really was dating. <laughs> Strong in the 11th grade and on to our senior year. Yeah. And uh, quite naturally, right after high school, we was married. So, let's answer this question. So, how did you feel about getting married so young? Because we was 18, you know, that's usually when everybody going out to college. Starting the college life, a majority of our friends did go out to college. Mm -hmm. So, what made you make the decision, you know, to want to be married to you? I don't know. I think I had it made up that that's what I wanted to do. I had it made up in my mind that I, I really didn't want to play around, really didn't want to date from girl to girl to girl. I mean... Monica was my first and all the true, true, true love. So I just stuck with it and it paid off. It paid off? It paid off. It paid off. Big time. I think I always wanted to be on. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to party and type. You know, I like to go out and party and this and that, so it was fine with me being young and married. Cause I know people say, "Well, you missing out." I heard that so many times. Yeah, yeah. You missing out on stuff, and it ain't gonna last. And you know, because we were so young, and we heard that a lot. Yeah, I got. I actually used to get defensive, you know. Because I'm like, how you going to tell me how my marriage going to be? And right. Just because you unhappy and stuff like that. Right. You know, it's not easy. Uh, let me tell you now. They were rough. The first couple of years. Not rough, i say. Relationship-wise. Financial-wise. It, yeah. was, it was tough. 
Cause hey, we was 18 years old. Getting out on our own, getting jobs, trying to support, I'm trying to pay bills, support my wife. I mean, hey, it was tough the first couple of years till we really started getting the understanding of learning each other and getting the understanding of money mm -hmm. and, and sharing money, which that really wasn't never an issue there. Yeah, I don't think that. We never had an issue in that area. Mm -hmm. Cause neither one of us is just like I don't know. I wouldn't say like a shopaholic or extreme. I mean, we had to mature in our spending, mm -hmm. but I can't say like we was the type to go out and buy <coughs> joints and whatever, whatever. Which ain't nothing wrong with it, you know. But we just I don't think that was one thing. It was I you did. know growing up. I kept me a nice pair of Air Max. Long time, like not to the point where you would go buy Elmets before you pay bills. Right. Like we ain't never. Really but the, the 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 part I was speaking of was we never was the type of mind, 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 mind. Oh yeah. You know it was always ours yeah. and, and us, and neither one of us was never like that. You know, was mine is mine. And what's yours is yours. Now yeah. we always was together from the beginning. I don't know why. Maybe God linked us up, you know, for a reason or put us, you know, mentally in that state so we could work out. Our marriage could work out by us being so young, you know. Yeah, I'm glad that's one thing I don't think we ever like I think the most arguments that we have well is from kids. <laughs> And every married couple know this because children will try to play against each other. Mm -hmm. Won't it? Mm -hmm. One of them will come and ask you something knowing that the daddy didn't say no or the mom didn't say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the kids will come and ask me um, something I might have said no. Then they go ask their dad and he just said yeah. And I'm like, well, I told him no, but he don't know I didn't told him no. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm in trouble. But anyway. Um. Back to when we met or whatever. That just when we had we had to grow up together. Mm -hmm. Did you just say my own? That was mine. Oh, he, he, he. my bad, T. Really? <laughs> Let me just hold on. I'm finna just put my stuff on my plate. <laughs> Cause I put it up here to leave, and you just gonna take my thing. Oh, my bad. Get my stuff. Hey, let me get. Hey. Oh, that one big too. That's uh. That's all right, Chief. That's yeah, we got right. one trying to come on, Jamal. Are you trying to come? We got one that's eyeing our food over here. Hmm. Say hi to the family since you're over Yeah. Here. I don't think they can see him, huh? <laughs> he, he, look, he's he giving, uh, he's signaling and trying to get, hold on, dude. I do want one more shrimp. <laughs> oh, see what I'm saying, y'all? We can't even do our We can't even do our video. Now we done fixed them stuff, got them sitting off over to the side. They still over here. Jane, you did it. Okay, Jane over there with her snow crab, so she fine. Okay, so um, Well uh, we was talking about uh us not never, uh, you know, saying, you know, oh, my, my, my. I know, just growing up together. That's right, that's right. So that was, uh, I think that was, uh, you know what I'm saying? We had to grow up and mature together. So I think that was the biggest, the biggest adjustment for me. What about you? Yeah. I it think was. that's what it was. It was, it was. And we had people, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> we had people to encourage us and and uh, try to keep us in the right direction and point us out if, if if they thought we needed help or whatever. But it all worked out for the good. I don't know. I was hard headed, so I was independent. Like I wanted to, you know. I'm like, this is my my marriage. This is my life. <laughs> and that was just that, you know. Being immature, but at the same time, I just didn't want to allow anybody to speak that over my marriage. You know, like, 
You know, like I remember this one time I was working at this deli. You know that deli I used to work at? Uh-huh. Anyway, so I remember the older lady. I think she probably had been married maybe 10 years or something like that. And she was like, oh, just wait. You you love your husband and you in love with him now. But just wait another couple of years. You gonna be, y'all going to be living in separate rooms and sleeping in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> sleeping in separate rooms and, you know, all this stuff. And I was just like, I don't receive that. That was my favorite line. I don't receive that. I ain't, you know... So that's the only thing that made me mad with when people approach me like that. Mm-hmm. Like, don't cut a head so long. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't be trying to speak that negative stuff. Right. You know, over my marriage, just because that's where you at. Right. So. It happens. I mean, you have to take it for what it is. Some people try to help you. Some people think they're trying to help you when they're actually not, but. It don't bother me. As long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do toward my wife and same for her, you know, I feel we'll be successful, which we have. I mean, here we are going on 20 years soon. I mean. Well, it don't, that was in the beginning. Like, yeah. it don't bother me now, but I, you know, in the beginning, because you know, you young, you married. Going through your little growing, you know, right. stages. And of course, who want to be told that, hey, you ain't going to like your husband after a certain amount of years and this, that, and the other. So. Right. I feel yeah. you on that. Yeah. So. <laughs> now, how you shoot stuff three different places? Well, I guess we can turn this into a how we met slash marriage talk. Hey, you turned it into that. But because it ain't really, you know, how we met, that ain't, you know, just long and drawn out. It's just how we met. Boom. That's it. <laughs> so we just been gone and moving to the marriage talk. Oh. But it wasn't too hard for us. We always been uh, spiritual. Uh, both of us been in ministry together. So, you know, that helps out a lot, having God in our life. And having God as his over our life. And that helps out a lot. Because even when I do get on a nerve, or uh, she get on my nerve, somebody will pray, or somebody will chill out, and uh, everything will be all right. And that was a that was a growing process for me because I always had to have the last word. She still do. Still do have to have the last word, but I don't. It ain't oh. Uh, I don't know. What's the difference? What? Of me having the last word back when we first got married, and me having the last word now. Only you can tell the difference because it's you that um uh, that had to put up with me. Mm-hmm. I think that was. I think you it was bad like that then because of your environment growing up. Well, yeah. I think that's what it was. But once she realized I wasn't going nowhere and I'm who I am, she started slacking off. And I think that's another thing you said. Good, another good, another good thing that made me think about this. Um, letting you be who you are, that's something I had to learn, you know, mm-hmm. because when you got two people, two different personalities getting together, you know, mm-hmm. and then you in one environment, you have to kind of compromise on some stuff, right? And some stuff you got to, and I had to learn, let him be him because that's who he is. Like, I can't mold him in, you know, the person that I want him to be, right. We both compromise in stuff like, let me think of what's one other thing. And, and, and look, family, when y'all be marrying people or dating people, who they are then is the same person they're going to be when you marry. Now, some things will change, but 
Watch when y'all be dating each other. They need men and they need women. If they crazy while you dating them, chances are they going to be crazy while you married. And they punch you, don't, them. you don't think somebody could change? They, anybody could change through Christ. What do you but you have if, to say that? You just no, no, no. If they knocking you out while y'all dating, chances are it's going to happen when y'all married. So, watch who you're dating and who you letting yourself be involved with. Take it how you want it. I'm just being straight up on that. Now, that one thing my wife can say, that one thing my children can say, never seen me put my hands on my wife. Never. That's something I never do. Am I right? Well, it was that one time. What one time? When I was pregnant, you threw that, that flip-flop at me. A flip-flop? <laughs> you remember that time you we were playing, you threw that flip-flop at me, I was pregnant with your mother, and I started crying, you was like, really? What you crying for? You don't remember that? We were playing, though. I know, but I was saying, you don't remember that? Yeah, you got all these emotional ass stuff for no reason. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You were pregnant. I ain't, ain't do nothing. She just started. <laughs> she just started crying out of nowhere. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Y'all women, boy. Woo. But anyway, going back to being married. Then the other thing too. It was what three and a half years before we had kids. So we had a little time together too. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. We had a little time. You know, to learn each other and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm destroying this. You sure is. I don't think I even had number one cluster because you stole my other one. I'm trying to move my hair back. You stole my other cluster that I had. It wasn't number three legs on it. That's the whole cluster. I only took one out. You didn't give me that. Well, who going to eat that? I'm talking about you need to give me that big one right there. That go a big one right there. Yeah. Okay. How many clusters did you have? Two. Mm -hmm. Well, three. I know, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know we had more than that up here. Talking about some two. Oh, your daughter got some. She only got two. Uh. These things hard. These are these are sweeter. Can you tell the people? Yeah, they good. They got a good sweet they taste. Good. But they harder to crack. I like them. They're easy to me. I told my husband I want some of them big. Uh, I want them big ones that be love be cooking. Having on her uh, chunk. We'll get some of them. <laughs> not, they this, like, not this time. What they like? Uh, $45 for two? I think so. I don't know. We'll get some another time. Not this time. But, uh, man, we just thank y'all for watching, man. And, and thank y'all for subscribing to our channel and, and being part of the Kogan Knight family. I mean, mean a lot to y'all. I mean to us. Yeah. Y'all mean a lot to us, cuz. Without y'all interaction and, and responding and, and liking and sending messages, we wouldn't do this. You act like you got me million subscribers. We got enough. We got enough. I just get four or five. I'm happy. That's right. I'm happy. <laughs> and we got some loyal couple that we do have. We got some loyal folks. So... And we loyal to them, so. I'm glad we started chilling. I was a little, I don't know, when we first started, I was a little, mm. But I'm glad we did, because we get to look back, you know, at memories of the kids and Ooh. us. And, that little bit, look. You see how easy it came out? I here? know it is. It is come out easy. And this sauce ain't no joke. Bro. You like that sauce? Yeah. You made some one time before that pretty good, too. But you know, I I just put a lot everything in it and I couldn't remember what I put in it. I kinda remember this one, so I said if you liked it, I knew what you know, I knew what 
I had put in there. Yeah. We still didn't use the lemon. I was supposed to squeeze the lemon and see how it tastes with the lemon. Oh, okay. Good child. That's Jayden in the background, y'all. She over there eating her snow crab. Well, uh, yeah, that's it, family. Here we is, pushing 20 years of marriage. And, uh, looking forward to bigger, better years with the wife. Staying in love. You're still in love? I am. I am. Just take it off and eat it. Never meet. But, uh, you wanna wrap it up? Yeah, we can wrap it on up. I think we done basically talked about how we met along with other stuff. Mm -hmm. If y'all wanna hear us talk more about, or I guess get more into the, you know, marriage stuff, just let us know in the comment section. And we'll do another video. More more of a sit down without us eating and you know all that good stuff. I just thought it'll be fun for us to do a video eating down and all that stuff. You enjoyed it. Hey, you, you know, know I did. <laughs> we can do this all the time. But uh we thank y'all, man. And don't don't forget to uh thumbs up and uh tell your friend, tell your neighbor. To subscribe to Life with Dakota. We love y'all. Yeah, we appreciate y'all. And uh, we thank y'all for everything that y'all do. Anything? You got anything else? That's it. I'm sure. All right. Oh, and remember, and everything that y'all do, to always do it. Be. Subscribe. Boom. Boom.